I am Dr. Sridhar. Welcome to my channel. I hope you are enjoying the videos uh, that have been shared so far. I have a request. Please do subscribe to the channel as you are subscribing motivates me. And uh, please do like and comment on the videos as possible. So this is a question related to sampling by uh, Venus gas. So obviously we discussed in a previous MCQ uh, as well whether the Venus gas can be used. It's not recommended, obviously it's used in only certain situations. In this case, would you intubate a baby based on PCO2 of 72 on a venous gas which is obtained during cannulation? So this is only acceptable situation when we take a venous gas. If you're taking a blood sample for another reason, you want to avoid unnecessary sampling or pricking of the baby. So you may take the venous gas and use it as a baseline. If it is not uh, normal, you would obviously want arterialized capillary gas or an arterial stab or a UAC sample to accept and action further. So in this case, uh, it's a question of what you would do, whether you would accept that and intubate or no. So the choice is going to be that you wouldn't act on this because it's a venous gas, the CO2 is not predictable, it often goes high because of the uh, nature of the circulation and you may be squeezing also to get the cannulation. So try uh, to repeat a arterialized capillary gas. Of course, the baby may need respiratory support and if you're not on any support, you may need to start it, but uh, you wouldn't intubate on this basis unless the baby is apneic or has a direct reason to intubate straight away. So you would base it clinically, not just on this gas. And if you need a gas to make the decision, you need to repeat uh, arterialized capillary sample quickly. So uh, venous gas has to be taken with a pinch of salt. So just use it when you have to insert a cannula or have a procedure needing a bigger sample uh, where you can't manage with the capillary gas. But always uh, note that it's a venous gas, the CO2 is going to be high, the pH will be a little lower and you have to accept oxygen is not at all reliable on the venous gas as well. I hope this helps. Please do share. Please do like the video. I have repeated this many times. And if you have not subscribed, please do subscribe to the channel as well. It motivates us. Thank you.